Hello, and welcome to a quick tutorial for something that I hope is fairly easy to understand. Um, for the last, gosh, almost decade, we've been using Hangouts on Air in order to do quick video conferences that are streamed live and recorded to YouTube. Um, that is going away later this fall, uh, we think, um, if they don't go back on their word, which is sometimes what happens. Um, but what I have figured out is maybe an alternative. So a way of broadcasting a Google Hangouts Meet call um, using your iPad or iPhone. So I'm actually going to be streaming directly from my iPad, which is what's happening right now, and I am going to join a video call. And so this is the Hangouts Meet um, video call, but that's not all that it is, right? Because I'm on the iPad, so if I actually switch applications, um, I can actually see all of the different apps that are running. And the one that is doing all of the heavy lifting, all of the hard work right here is called Every Chord. I am recording and broadcasting this app using uh, YouTube Live, uh, the streaming service, but I'm using uh, Every Chord, which costs $1.99, um, which I found to be quite useful and well worth the money here um, to be able to, to do that. And all of the app configuration is pretty simple and easy to understand. You grab your uh, streaming link and then your streaming key, which I will be resetting after this video goes live. Um, but those two pieces of information, you just put it into the broadcast area and you decide what you would like the, um, the video settings to be. So what is the right orientation? So if you want to do it in landscape or portrait and how you are holding the iPad or iPhone um, and things like that, how many uh, frames per second you want, what you want the resolution to be. Um, I have found that actually going full size um, does some weird things um, with what it sends to YouTube, but I'm playing around with the different resolutions um, depending on what kind of iPad or iPhone you have. And then what is the sampling rate and audio? Um, you can only do either iPad audio itself or the audio directly from um, from the microphone, and I'm choosing uh, microphone audio. Um, but what you can do is if you turn on the uh, the internal audio, you get the full experience of um, the audio from the call. And so it's all sort of interesting to see how you have to configure it. Um, but the way that this works is I am in my Hangouts Meet right here. This is my video, and then anybody can join my Hangouts Meet call. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to join from my uh, Mac and um, we'll see what that looks like, right? So I'm gonna join from a second computer and join the meeting. And what's great is now we're on a call that is um, fully, you know, uh, anywhere else in the world. You know, we have the, the call that's going on um, and we can project and uh, have anybody join and it's being recorded live to YouTube. Um, so what I can do, and I'm actually just going to turn off the microphone on this one in case we get any kind of echo, is I'm going to present from uh, my Mac so you can see what it looks like from the streaming area of YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and project uh, my Mac's screen. And now you see the screen because I'm on the iPad right here. On the iPad, I am, uh, I am seeing the video call, the Hangouts Meet call, and now I am projecting my Mac. And so what I've got now is the live stream page um, directly from Creator Studio and YouTube. Um, and you can have your, uh, your basic info, your title and your description of the video that's going live right now. And then this is where you get that, um, that server URL and the stream name or key. So if I reveal that, that's what you copy and paste into um, the app on your iPad or your iPhone in order to get it to stream correctly. So that's literally all there is to it, um, but this, 
recreates all of the functionality of what we have with Hangouts on Air, because you have your live chat over here. Um, you can interact with people who are just watching the stream. Obviously, you can do whatever you might like inside of the uh, Hangouts Meet application. So if I want to um, have my internal chat, and I can actually broadcast that internal chat between the different, um, the different participants, uh, directly inside of this. Now, there's only, there's like three participants of me right now, um, but obviously you would have people join from other places, um, but you could project the chat, you could um, let people actually join via a uh, phone number, um, which is super cool. You really couldn't do that after they took it out of Google+, Plus. Um, but you could have people join the Hangouts Meet that is being live recorded and sent to YouTube. You could have them join via a phone number if you have a uh, G Suite for Education account. Like all of these things are now possible. And then that's not, uh, uh, that's not exhaustive because any app that you have open on your iPad, you can also open. So any, any application that you want to display, anything that you might want to, to take a look at, um, and you know, have a collaborative Google Doc open. You could uh, open any application that you wanted to. You could put, you know, if we were having the Hangouts meet and then we wanted to have an overlay um, of Twitter, let's say. So if I pull in my Twitter overlay and I want to have let's just do something fun. Um, you know, there are still people who are talking about ISD19. Um, I have the ability for me to have an overlay of this on top of the experience. And so this allows me to have a huge amount of variety um, to decide exactly what I want to display and share and stream directly to YouTube. Um, and, and really, it continues to, um, to sort of spark new possibilities for me. Um, so I'm going to stop the... Uh, the projection here of the Mac, go back to uh, the video to sort of conclude. I'm gonna pop that out, turn off the camera there, and we can actually just pin this so that you have this on display. So this right here is um, obviously a tool that can replace uh, Hangouts on Air, um, but it can do a lot more. And